Hi everybody, I'm Kina. And I'm William. And we are the Nerdy Weds. And we're going to discuss Dragon Con 2021. Kind of a, a light recap of the convention. And this convention versus previous yeah, Dragon Cons. Yeah, so what does the convention post-panoramic... <laughs> Those are words strung together. I don't think they belong. Yeah, there. we call it, we you know we call it everything but what it is, panorama, panda. Oh, pan oh yes, the paranormal, the paranormal. unspecified <laughs> disease of unknown origin. Something like that. Yeah. So, what was your thoughts of Dragon Con 2021? Quiet. Oh, okay. It was quiet. Quieter than than Dragon Cons of yesteryear. Um, not as quiet as last year's Dragon Con, because <laughs> you guys were here for us. Yeah, for that that was that was right here in our own house because it was totally virtual. We need a link. We will link that video in the description of this one. If you haven't seen it, check it out because you can find out what Dragon Con virtual looks like. And let's talk about what Dragon Con. This was much more gooder. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, it was my your word, one word was quiet, and my one word I guess would be ideal. Yes, it felt it was more perfect like perfect to me. It felt more like what Dragon Con felt like in 2014 and earlier. 20, 2011, like 2011, 20, 20. 2014 type kind of crowd because they limited it to forty something thousand passes, mm -hmm. uh, which was. Crazy few. That, that's that's a lot of people would go to a convention that forty thousand people attended, and it would blow their minds to see that many people at a convention. But Dragon Con is so big that that forty thousand only makes things crowded in certain parts of the convention. Right, in certain times. Whereas when there's a hundred thousand people there, it's crowded everywhere. Because mm -hmm. with it being spread out over five host hotels. Uh, America's Mart, and this time they had an arcade and a separate um, space. Off, off site venue. Uh, off site venue. So things are, were spread out as it normally is, but with a lot less people. So you could actually walk through the crowds. You could actually go to the vendor hall and stop and browse at the things that are being sold. So I would imagine more people spent more money because they could take their time and actually shop. Yes, and there's actually on our Facebook page, at least for next few weeks, mm -hmm. if it hasn't already been taken down, um, actual live videos of me at Dragon Con walking around the convention hall, walking around the vendors hall. I, I did the first two floors of vendor space and it's huge and I think I, I did a live stream it was well over an hour mm -hmm. of walking around just walking around not stopping and shopping or anything like that and by the time I got to the third floor I was spent I was done I, I did a little bit on the third floor and then I called it a day on that live show but I had a great time in the vendors room for the first time in many years because usually you go and you feel like a salmon trying to swim upstream just to stop and look at something uh, at any point in in the vendor room in previous years. It's usually just packed full of people. And this year wasn't like that. It was it was really nice to be able to walk around the vendor hall. Uh, it's the first time in years I've actually gone to the vendor hall and enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And it was true for every convention space that I, I went to during the weekend. The, the, the Marriott, as usual, got really crowded. I just avoided it most of the time. It got really crowded, but not like in the past. You still could walk through the crowds, mm -hmm. um, whereas in the past you would be um, crammed up um, to the next person, trying to squeeze through to get to somewhere else, or just be content with standing in the crowd with a, a bunch of you know sweaty people that you don't know. And if you saw a costume that you, you liked, um, you could actually 
get a picture of it. Yeah. yeah. So it, it was much, much better. It would be nice if they could keep it that way. I know a lot of people who weren't um, able to go, they really didn't appreciate people saying that, like uh, capping it, because then um, what if you're not able to buy your, your ticket quickly or um, what have you, that could pose some problems to people. Mm -hmm. But when you have that many people in a small space, even before the current environment we're living in right now, to me, it's just not a good idea. Yeah. And we, we did some things that we've not done at previous Dragon mm -hmm. Cons. What are some things we did? <laughs> well, we've participated in Swag and Seek in the past, mm -hmm. and we did a little bit of that too. Yeah. Hiding little painted eggs and, mm -hmm. and with dragons and stuff. And went around and gave some, uh, some cool stuff out yeah, to kids. Yeah. And then we also did something that you've been wanting to do for years, and we plan on doing again next year which is being a quest giver. Yes, so uh, we did the little exclamation point on our head. Uh, we had a headband with that on it, and we had uh, people who knew what that meant that would come up to us, or if they didn't know, they'd come up and ask, and we would um, tell, give them a quest, and if they came back and completed that um, quest, then they got to choose a prize. So you want to tell them about some of the quests that uh, we gave out? Uh, some of the quests were get a picture of a Loki variant costume, post it to our Facebook, and then show us that you had done so. Um, some others were like a superhero costume or... Uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Or, you know, just basically go out and find this type of cosplay, get a picture of it, and then prove to us you got the picture, and then you get to pick your prize. Yeah. And those prizes were relatively small prizes. Mm -hmm. We had a couple, like, little wire crowns and ring, glowing rings, LED mm -hmm. rings, and, and some dragons and some other stuff that you were giving away okay. as prizes. But then if they also subscribed to our YouTube channel, they'd get to pick from the bag of big prizes. And some of these big prizes were really freaking cool. I know that we had uh, four lunch boxes. Mm -hmm. Collect that we got collectible right. Star Wars lunch boxes. One was a 40th anniversary edition lunch box for Star Wars, and the other one was an Avengers. Was it Avengers? Deadpool. Deadpool. It was a Deadpool lunch box. So we had two Deadpool lunch boxes and two 40th anniversary edition and a lunch boxes. Pokemon Pokeball lunch, lunch box. box yeah. okay. So different things like that, and we want to possibly do the quest thing again uh, next year. If mm -hmm. you guys know of any good quests that we could give out, just put it in the comments. Uh, we will do a video on preparing for it and do a video of us at the con actually doing it. Uh, this time though, we probably will not stay as long as we did this year, but we will also be a little bit more organized about how people turn in the, the pictures because we'll put it on Facebook again, but we'll make a post and have them put all the pictures under that one comment under that uh, in the comments under that one post. I think it'd be a, a, a lot bit, easier, a lot easier to do it that way. A lot easier to keep track mm -hmm. and and stuff of people completing the quests and a little bit of excitement seeing other people complete mm -hmm. the quest and then. If you see that the quest is going on and you're on our Facebook, you can come find us and, and join in. Mm -hmm. um, as far as actual convention things, other than me going to the vendor room and then doing the quest thing right. and some light cosplay, uh, I did not participate in Dragon Con as a convention. You know, we did the ABC party with mm -hmm. Convoluted. Uh, that's the anything but clothes party where you dress in an outfit made of anything but clothing items, anything traditionally called clothing, you're not allowed to wear it. It was out in public, so you had to cover all your naughty bits. But that's the only like event that I attended and the entire And you did not um, let me take a picture of you. I'm just thinking of that right now. You made sure you got I a picture of me. I didn't want a picture but... <laughs> of me. Oh, that's right. You're right. I remember you saying I did ask and you didn't want a picture. No. Yeah. Your outfit looked 
phenomenal. Well, we both did the cool stuff bags. We have a crap load of cool stuff bags, as you guys should know from our little skit that we did. Um, I should link that. I'll link that in the description too. But um, we have all of those bags, so I was like, that's the perfect thing to make our costume out of. So uh, I knew that's what I was going to do with, with mine. And uh, my dear hubby here decided he was going to copy. <laughs> yep. But I'm glad you did because we came up with good ideas together better than me coming doing it alone. I, I knew I had a, a idea of how I wanted it to look, but with your help, I feel like I was able to really pull it I together. I designed the skirt. Yeah. That we both wore. Yes, I wore a yeah, skirt. Yeah, you, you did because I was originally going to try to do something that flared out. And because you uh, made your skirt like a <laughs> kilt. And no, it was a skirt. I was wearing underwear. <laughs> and uh, I liked the way it looked. I decided to copy you. Yeah. yeah. That was a lot of fun. Um, but as far as official Dragon mm -hmm. Con stuff. You didn't do much, huh? I didn't do anything. I didn't go to any panel. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. That's not true. I got blown at Dragon Con. <laughs> You did. I got you blown. did. He, he did the. I'm just gonna ruin your joke right now. He did the guilt blowing. Uh, I have the ribbon or, that says I got blown yeah. at Dragon Con. Yeah, you do have that ribbon. Yeah. So how was that for the first time doing that? That Tell was nerve wracking. So what it is is you get up on stage in front of a bunch of screaming women wearing a kilt. And the men. women are out wearing women a and kilt. Men. Uh, men and women in the audience. You get up on stage and they take a leaf blower to your kilt. It sounds a lot more provocative than it actually was. They went through every single uh, precaution that they could take to make sure nothing above a PG-13 rating was going to happen on stage. And, uh, you know, legally I don't blame them, but mm -hmm. it it's kind of funny that they required everybody in the mm -hmm. audience to show ID and all the participants to show ID in order to even get in the room. Yeah to prove you were of age, no to see adult to content, <laughs> and then did everything humanly possible to prevent anything mm -hmm. resembling adult content from happening. Mm -hmm. Now, apparently this event used to be something that was a non-official Dragon Con event that just happened in a hallway, and it eventually became something they did in a ballroom, and then eventually it became a actual con staple that they tried to get rid of, mm -hmm. But then enough people were like, no. And then a big time organizer for Dragon Con, uh, they took it over and she made it happen. So, I went to the burlesque show one year and you'd see way more at that um, than you ever do memory. at the kilt blowing. And no one had to show ID. So the fact that they were like, you have to show ID, it made you think that you were going to get a show. <laughs> I'm not saying I wanted to show my jiggly bits. And but I'm not saying I wanted to see a bunch of people's jiggly bits. But, you, you know, they set us up to think that we were going to. <laughs> and it was, it Such still, it was, it was really fun. Because um, you could just see how much you guys were having a good time and, and, have, and enjoying it. And I didn't get any pictures of him up there on the stage because he was like the second person. And yeah, that was the, that was the big time nerve wracking thing is finding out I was... I was supposed to be the third person, mm -hmm. but then the guy between myself and Dave, mm -hmm. no, I was supposed to be fourth. Uh, there was another guy that was supposed to be in between me and the first guy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, he, he, he ducked, ducked out. out. I guess he ducked out. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so they uh, were saying before anybody got on the stage that, oh, um, you know, they're going to come up here and do their little bit. And then at the end, we're going to bring um, each of them all up here, and that's when you can take pictures. So being that you were the second person, we were all under the impression that we couldn't take pictures yet. And I was there with Shannon. And by the time, like, the sixth person came up, I'm seeing people pulling out their cameras, taking pictures, and no one says anything. And I'm like, I could have taken a picture all this time. But even though we weren't able to take a picture, Shannon and I, we screamed really loud for you, yep. and so I don't you're know right if you heard front, her or not. Yeah, you were right did. in the front of the stage. Mm -hmm. I saw you. Yeah. And I heard you. That was a good spot to take some good pictures, but got nothing. <laughs> so but that's glad, it. I think that's the only it. official Dragon Con yeah. thing I did all weekend. 
Well, I was all set to do a bunch of panels because that was my plan for the convention. I was like, you know, I'm just going to find a little corner in a panel room and uh, watch a bunch of panels. Didn't end up actually going to any rooms to watch panels, but I watch a bunch in my room, so I'm still counting them. So I watched them on DragonCon TV, uh, the uh, Star Wars Discovery. I watched their panel twi uh, twice, two different times that they had a panel. Really good. I watched... Um, Star Wars Discovery? Star Wars Discovery. Star Wars Star Discovery? Trek Discovery. I was like, what is he over there laughing about? Look, we have on Star Wars shirts, and this is a Star Wars house. So even though it's Star Trek, my mind didn't want to compute. My mind was like, no, you mean Star Wars, don't you? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I don't. Star Trek Discoveries. Shame. Shame. Ding, ding. Shame. Shame. Yes, so um, watch that panel. Uh, they had it two different times. I watched them both. And the um, Star Trek again with Will William Shatner. I watched his panel. Okay. And there was a few other for that one. A few other ones that I uh, watched. Um, some the God one, the American Gods. That was really good. Bat Batwoman. Oh, Batwoman. You know what? I love panels because they either introduce me to something new that I didn't know about before or they have me get excited to watch something that I knew about but wasn't interested in before, which is how I was with uh, Batman. Batwoman. I'm really a mess tonight. First, Star <laughs> Wars instead of Star Trek. Now, uh, Bat uh, at least, Woman instead at least of Bat Batman Woman. instead of Batwoman. At least this one's forgivable. Okay. Uh, you know, I guess the other one wasn't really forgivable. <laughs> no, I was going to try to argue it, but there's no arguing no. that one. It wasn't forgivable. Especially Discovery. I like Discovery. Oh, uh, it was better than the last Star Wars movie, I guess. Better than the last Star Wars movie? Yeah, the, the... Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Whatever that last one was called, I don't yeah, know what okay. it is. <laughs> you got me. We, when we thought it couldn't get worse than the prequels, Ryan Johnson proved us wrong. Maybe Jar Jar Binks will be in the next one. And then, what's his name, J.J. Uh, Abrams just couldn't, couldn't recover in that last movie. But... Yeah, um, I didn't go to any panels. I did watch a couple of the panels there in the room with you on DragonCon TV, which is a, if you don't know, DragonCon has a TV channel that's available for free in all of the host hotels. Uh, I believe it's all of the host hotels, correct? Because I know the Sheridan and the Westin weren't mm -hmm. included for a while, but I believe they are now. I'm not Pretty sure I'm it's not all of them. Entirely all of sure. Host hotels, yeah. And, and it's you also can a buy free yeah, yeah. Uh, streaming. For ten bucks and be able to watch it at yeah. home. So whether you're Dragon Con or not, you can you can pay and watch Dragon Con TV, and that includes a lot of panels and, and fun little skits and music videos that people have done over the years, mm -hmm. um, like a, a lot of Adult Swim style cards where they come up with text on the screen about different things and they put jokes up there, and, and it's a good time to watch for a few hours. Uh, between panels, and the panels are obviously great to watch on yeah. there. You don't have to worry about the crowd. You don't have to worry about standing in line or or dealing with people in general. You can just sit in your room and watch them. So it's perfect for people like me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And I did plan on actually going um, to panels physically this time, but I'm a, a room hog, and that's what I enjoy. And then also, I'm not going to get into detail, but was going into dealing with some personal stuff at the con this yes. year. So uh, a lot of my plans about, uh, you know, hanging out with friends in our own little circle so that we weren't around a bunch of people and going to the panels, that all of that stuff just kind of went out the window. But I will mention some of the things that I had planned to do that really didn't get to because of that uh, was doing some cosplay and cosplay groups. I had um, the Marriott Carpet and T-Rex uh, group meetups that I was going to go to. Uh, that did happen and uh, I hear that it was a lot of fun. But you know, didn't make it to that. 
then also all of these different uh, groups that pop up because you know that's what Dragon Con does they have the cult of the carpet the cult of John and all of that and now they have the carpet um, clothes for cleaning uh, cult yeah. <laughs> and I had a costume for we both, a cos did, yeah. we both did we had a cosplay for that I was going to be the pine saw lady and you I were going to be oxyclean and yeah. um, didn't make it to that but next year Next it's year. It's always next year. It's always next year. And that's the way I saw it. We, like you said, we're dealing with a lot of uh, personal stuff about, you know, things that yeah, happen. Yeah, things we don't need to get into. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it just, it was not our typical Dragon Con. Uh, it didn't feel like a typical Dragon Con. I saw a lot of great friends that I only get to see at Dragon Con, unfortunately. Got to spend time with them and hang out and look forward to the next time yeah. I get to see and these we people. We didn't get to spend time with a lot of the, the people um, that we would have normally done uh, spent time with because they weren't there. And then um, also some of the people who were there, again, because of other reasons, just uh, wasn't able to meet up with or spend as much time as we wanted to. With. Yeah, there were but several the, people. Several like people, but um, the people that we were able to spend time with, it, it was good, quality time, was fun. Um, but next year, if, if we didn't get to hang out with you this year, next year. Definitely. Yeah, it's a date next year. <laughs> Well, hopefully we see you before next year, some of you, but like you just said, there are people that we only see at this convention. Yeah, other than other than the obvious, well, you had to wear a mask every everywhere you were you were going indoors the entire time at the con. I think people did really good um, some with other that, precautions. don't you? Oh, yeah. For the most part, there were a few people that had to be reminded. Um, other precautions they were taking was they were trying to do social distancing, but there's that no social have, distancing at work. Dragon Con. Mm -hmm. Uh, everybody had to either have proof of vaccination or had to show that they had a negative test result within the last 72 hours in order to attend the event. And they had on-site testing. It was just a much more chill convention. I drank a lot of whiskey. I drank a lot of whiskey. Thank you, Joe, uh, if you see this video. Uh, Joe secured me a bottle of uh, Downmore 12. 12 year old scotch. Uh, I greatly appreciated it, even though I ended up going and buying another bottle. So I ended up with two bottles of scotch, which we drank, you know, two nights, and along with another bottle of whiskey and a half a bottle of another bottle of whiskey. So, yeah, it was a good weekend yeah. for, for drinking. <laughs> That's all I've got. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch that I'm missing. It was a long weekend. We had a Overall, I had a phenomenal time, um, and 10 out of 10 will do again, as yes. far as the convention goes, yeah. Same. So. so that's all we've got. If you got any questions about the con, or how to plan for it, or if you wanted us to do another video on Dragon Con, answering some of those questions, let us know in the comments, or just ask your questions in the comments. We'll do our best to answer. Until then, that's staying nerdy. Yep. See you.